So, hey guys, welcome back to Eric Dragon Highlander. We have some more EDH gameplay for you today, and Kowalski is starting us off. Kowalski, take it away. Hey guys, today I'm playing Gisa and Geralt, calling this deck Thraven's Most Wanted. I will start <laughs> for turn. <laughs> um, I will go Swamp and get right into it with a Stitcher Supplier. It's on UTV, I will mill three. Dark Select Shores, Swamp, and Undead War Chief. Master. Hello, I am your favorite person, Josh, and I'm playing with Tsunari Toad Raider, and I'm just trying to do a whole bunch of nonsense with enchantments. I will draw, play a Swamp, and I will be con and I'm going to be controversial, and I'm going to Vampiric Tutor. Because... <laughs> Wow. Rethink my strategy. Uh, this um, this is Ernest. I'm playing KT. This is a group hug. He wants to draw a lot of cards. Um, I'll draw. For dramatic effect, I'll play the Seaside Citadel and Bass. All right. And I'm Eric Dragon Highlander. I'm playing Amara, Soul of the Accord. This is my token weenie selesnia deck because like my ex-wife used to say you gotta be able to appreciate the little things <laughs> draw i'll play planes Christ. and cast a legion's landing and i'll make a vampire token and i'll pass play an island and i will pass Now, hold on. I don't even know what I want. <laughs> Are you still tutoring? Are you still a 2T? Yes. <laughs> Toot faster, Josh. Toot faster. <laughs> Um, I guess I guess you could say you should you should be doing this too sweet. All right, well, I got it. I got it. I just got stuff in my hand. I just put it into my hand, so I won't be too. Sweet. All I'm going to play a Boseju who endures his land for turn. Also, just want to put some information out there. And then I'm going to tap a green for Generous Visitor. Chamber it gets 1-1. One, one. Well, any target creature gets 1-1. One, one. Marina All-Star. And I'll pass after that. This little creepy thing enters the field. And I'm gone. Blackwood's Bridge. And I think it's going to be one of those games. So I'll do Mystic Remora Pass. There it is. <clears throat> now hold on a second. Holding. No, I was just saying, go ahead. I wasn't going to <laughs> When you say hold on a second, that means priority, bro. No, <laughs> go. I'm just like, now hold on. I don't think it's going to be one of those games. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to play Forest, and uh, it's your girl, Amara's coming out to play. Um, EK, how'd you like to take a vampire to the face? Too bad. Don't care what you think. It's happening. <laughs> it's what I've always wanted. I'm gaining a life. First blood, folks. And that's, <laughs> that's turn. Pat. Turn. Underground river. And... Hmm. 
kind of risky because I hope I don't mill any lands, but I will tap three for a Plague Belcher. I'm going to put the two minus... Can I put two minus one minus one counters on the single creature even if it kills it after the first one? They go on at the same time, so yes. Okay, perfect. So because both the whole... They don't resolve this part of the same thing. Okay, cool. So even even if they were separate, like if it was like put a plus one or uh, minus one minus one and then put a minus one minus one, even if they were separate, because it's all resolved as part of the same ability, before state based actions ever checked whether it was alive or dead, the right. second one Sweet. Okay. So I'll put both on Citrus Supplier. Uh that will trigger egg belcher, so each of you will lose one life, and then I will mill three off of the supplier dying. So I will mill a cabal ritual. Ancient Tomb, and Watery Grave. You said you didn't want to mill lands? <laughs> didn't want to, but didn't have a choice. I'll pass. Alright, draw for turn. Island, tap three, Hatsu, pass. Pay the one. Ring center into humble defector and pass. Draw. I'll play a Tranquil Thicket Tapped. Mm-hmm. What's with all these blockers, man? I don't think I care for that. I don't think I care for that at all. Um, let's go with one mana for a Skull Clamp. And one mana to equip it to my vampire. Boink! Dead vampire. Draw two. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Humble Defector is a 2-1. Yep. Mm. And uh, Josh, your commander is what now? Yeah, three, three. Ugh. Going on with these blockers, man. I'm trying to tap my Amara. Um. Okay. I will take an Amara hit, but I will, but uh, get targeted with anything for the next turn. I mean, yeah. I just want to swing with Amara. Uh, I'll take that deal. I just, I just need to be making soldiers, bro. Uh, <laughs> oh. Or did you say pass? I did. And that draw. Oh, now that's lucky. I'll play a oh, I'll, sure. I'll draw off the skull clamp. Oh, yeah. I will tap four for Gisa and Geralt. I will mill four. One, oh, you hit your land. Two, <laughs> three, four. Wow. <laughs> We're hitting all this instance and lands and sorceries. Uh, the only thing that really to note there was the Shambling Ghost. Um, I do got a 5 4 menace. I will swing that at Josh. All right. I have four Minachi. <laughs> I took it. Okay. I, I love the I love the Italian. It's a Minachi. <laughs> um, after that, I will pass. All right, I will tap two 
for a ground seal. Okay. Draw one. And cards in the graveyard can't be the target of spells or abilities. That gets one one, and I create a fog. Me. Ouch. Uh, I don't believe ground seal shuts off Giza and Groff, though. No, I'm not targeting. It would have to target. If it said any card, then you can. Or if it says a card, yeah, no, uh, it just can't say target. Card. Yeah, no. Giz and Grove just says you can cast one from your graveyard. So yeah. that doesn't target. Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually funny because it goes very well in graveyard decks. Yeah, because it stops people from removing your shit. Pass. Now, whenever I cast an enchantment with Kami out, each of it's going to drain each of you. Yep. Kami looks like a lot of elephant. <laughs> and you said pass there? Yeah. yeah. On top. Uh, upkeep, I'll pay the two. And drop. A reliquary tower. Sensei's top. Uh, who would like cards? Me, please. I need them badly. I think we'd all like cards. Uh, uh, Josh, if I gave it to you, will you agree not to attack me for the next turn? Sure. Hey, all what right. am I chopping over here? <laughs> Humble defector, and over your side. Drop two. And that's all. Pass. Oh, sorry, that's me. Uh, okay. Tap draw. Uh, I would play planes. Uh, okay. Let's go with one mana for a soul warden. Uh, and two mana for a quest for renewal. Draw. And then I'm going to swing my Amara and my soldier at Ernest for three. Uh, that is a total of two creatures being tapped for the quest. Uh, when Amara becomes tapped, I make a soldier, which gains me a life with the Soul Warden. The other soldier that's hitting you for one is also going to gain me a life, so I'll gain two total. Um, and then I will equip the Skull Clamp. Do I? Two, three... I mean, yeah. Okay. I'm going to equip the Skull Clamp to this soldier. And draw two. And from there, I'm going to pass. Okay. Go in for turn.
Okay, I'll tap one for the Stitcher supplier. That will mill three. We got a grave crawler, a swamp, and a undead auger. Not bad, not bad. I love undead auger, but you have to be so careful with that card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can get four wipes and just like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, I guess there's no reason not to cast the grave crawler from the graveyard. And that will be my turn. Pass. All right, I will untap. I will play a swamp. Sorry, two life gain triggers. Apologize. I will play a. I will play a Beaver Harmony. Each of you get drained for one, I gain one. Generous Visitor is now 3 3. And then I will tap Humble Defector and draw two cards. And who's it going to? That's the that's the wonderful thing. I don't know. How many cards do you each have in hand? I have five. Um. So I have seven cards in hand because I've been digging digging desperately with my skull clamp. Um. But also. Asking Kowalski how many cards he has in hand is not really the question <laughs> because he's playing his, his graveyard. His graveyard. Yeah, yeah, I have that's effectively like three creatures in my graveyard I can cast, so like I technically can have access to eight cards. That's fair. Okay. Um... I'll give it back to Ernest. Oh, well, thank you. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Honestly. If I get it again, I will hand it to you next time. He's got a so, humble defector every turn. He's okay. <laughs> is his is his mystic remora not doing enough for him? That you're like, oh, Ernest could use more cards. Okay. But maximum right. hand size. Oh, but I, hold on, I'll let you consider that because I have no maximum hand size. <laughs> Good lord almighty. Okay, uh, Eric, go ahead and take the humble defect. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have nine cards in hand. I don't know if you want that. Yay, I finally talked to you. I was trying to do the thing, the double edged sword thing. I'll give you cards, but you're going to lose them. That's fair. I was going to give it back to you. So we'll, we'll share the love. I got more where that came from. I'll crack out of the top while you're doing that. That was my turn, by the way. Okay. Uh, I'll crack it. Draw. Top. Untap. And. I'll let the remora go. Uh, draw. <laughs> Humble boy. Play a forest. Tap four. A KT. Tap one for the tower. And then I'll move to end step. So I'll draw and then everyone can play a land or draw. I will draw. I will play the land. I have no choice but to draw.
Result. Oh, and K and T entered, right? So that's a life gain for me. Ray. Okay. Draw. The forest. Um, okay. Two, three, one, and two. Yep, that works. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, I'll pay three mana for an aura shards. Oh, no, oh, no. That is not for me. Is aura shards artifacts and enchantments, or is it just enchantments? It's both. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that, that's not good. That's okay for me for now. Uh, I'm going to pay green mana, and I'll cast a Cerulean Caretaker. Uh, so when that enters, there's a couple triggers. There's the Soul Warden, I'll gain a life. And then there's the Aura Shards. Uh, Sensei's Divining Top can go away, I think. I can tap it and then just put it back. Well, it'll go to your hand. It draws a card that go on top. Or it goes on top. Yeah, yeah. at least it yeah, at least it slows the draw down, I guess. That's fine. I just want to slow your draw down and like because if you're just you know manipulating the top of your deck constantly, it's gonna get out of control very quickly. Um and then I think what other artifacts and enchantments do you guys even have? There's uh, the I got nothing. Weaver of Harmony and Ground Seal. The Ground Seal does not bother me. Uh, the Weaver of Harmony, what does it do? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's going to die. Um, so there's two mana for a Selfless Spirit, and when that enters, I'll blow up the Weaver of Harmony. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Ground Seal doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh... Now, attacks, do I want to? I mean, I don't need the Aura Shards trigger. I don't need to flip the Legion's Landing. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass it there. Uh, cool. On your end step, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to ghostly flicker, targeting my Stitcher Supplier and Geese and Girl. Uh, if that's good, I will flicker them, so they'll exile, come back. I'll end up milling seven between the two. A Stitcher Supplier, I'll hit a land, a Cemetery Reaper, Diagraph Captain, then Geese and Girl. We'll hit a Swamp, a Phyrexian Altar, Lord of the Undead, and Morphic Pool. Wait, you're not getting a ton of hits, eh? No, I'm actually losing some really good stuff to that Phyrexian Altar. kind of sucks. But, oh well, I will draw for two. Alright, I did hit some stuff. Nothing crazy. I didn't hit any sack outlets yet, though. That's a thing. Uh, I guess I'll play the crypt for t land for turn. Enters tapped, and I'll tap. Tap two for the undead auger. Yeah. 
and I will swing a 2-1 Gravecrawler at Eric. How dare you. <laughs> uh, I'll block with the Humble Defector. <laughs> sure. So, uh, trade. And I will draw and lose a life. Ha! <laughs> ha! And you, know, you know what the worst part of that is? Is I have a zero three. <laughs> I mean, that's what I wanted. So I could draw a card, um, and I'll cast him again, and I'll pass. All right, I will untap and draw. Oh, and uh, you each will lose one from Plague Culture. I almost forgot about that. Oh, um, sorry. You had two creatures enter, and then a third? Yeah. Because you three. blinked two, yeah. and that's three total? Actually, um, four. Four, actually. Four. So I'm actually gaining three life, not losing one. Oops. All right, I'm going to tap four. And I'm going to cast Twisted Embrace. This gets a 1-1 counter. Each of you get drained for one. And when it enters, I'm going to destroy target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. I'm going to target Amara, Soul of the Accord. Why? She didn't you even make up, a creature. You blew up my weaver. Seriously? <laughs> I mean, sure. Yeah, whatever. Like, literally, Amar is not doing anything right now. <laughs> okay. It's such weird threat assessment. I don't think there's anything on the field right now that it... I mean, Gisengarolf is pretty bad, but the milling is wanted, so if I blow it up, it's just going to get recasted. Yeah, there's a, you do got a point. I do have a crypt on the field, so man is not really a problem. I would blow up Gisengarolf, but... It'll get recast, and that's more ammo for the graveyard. There's nothing else really that's a problem. Cool. And, uh, and I would that's a creature of planeswalker, anyway. If I had, if it could, I would. Um. So Tatsunari's a four four. Um. I will swing the three three at Eric. There's no special keywords to it. It's just a three three. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take three. All right, that's it. Pass. Pass. Yeah. Draw. Planes. Three, six, a well of ideas. When it enters the battlefield, draw two cards. And then at the beginning of each other's plate or uh, draw step, that player draws an additional card, and then I'll draw an additional two cards. I'll move to end step. So KT will let me draw, and everyone can either draw or put a land on. I will choose to draw. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Draw your two. Draw. Uh, okay. Oh, you get to draw two. Why do I draw two? Well, oh, the well. Yeah, right. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll pay four mana for Amara. I'll pay. Uh, sorry, I'll gain a life with the Soul Warden. 
And I guess when Amara enters, I'll blow up the Sensei's Divining Top. I'll uh, look at three, and then I'll crack it. Okay, hold on. Uh, so before that ability resolves, I'll tap the Cerulean Caretaker to tap Amara to make one mana. Which... Then when she taps, I'll make a soldier. And when the soldier enters, I'll blow up the Sensei's Divining Top. Uh, okay, so if you respond to the, the tap one, in response to your um, response, can I tap it at that point then? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get three? Thanks. Oh, actually, sorry. Draw, then put it on. Uh, but I also gain one life with the Soul Warden as well. And sorry, that's two creatures tapping. So this goes up now. Um, and then I'll spend three mana using this floating green to cast a Court Street Denizen. So whenever another white creature enters the battlefield under my control, I tap target creature and opponent controls. Mm -hmm. um, and then that also gains me a life with the Soul Warden. And I'll blow up the... I don't know. Well of ideas. Sure. <laughs> wow. How selfish. <laughs> I don't think there's no anything else to hit. Like, I don't know what else you want me to target, but like <laughs> that's that's aura shards, baby. Um that's what it does. I have to get rid of that damn thing. Um, I'm going to also make mention of the fact that I'm going to be doing this a lot more often now because the quest of renewal is live. So I'm going to be going boink, boink, boink every turn, not just on my turn. Um, I pass. Um, do I want to do anything? I want to draw. go command tower. All right, my crypt taps for five right now. What's even in here? Sorry, Josh, is Tatsunari wearing an aura? It is. That it's the one that it's just it gives it one one. Okay. Okay, I'll tap the crypt for five black. I will use what do I want? Yeah, I guess I'll use four of that to cast an Undead War Chief from the graveyard. Got one black floating still. Um, I'll tap the other black. Cast a Nightscape Familiar. So my blue spells will cost one less. And move to combat. Josh, I'll swing my 2-1 Grave Crawler your way. And my Stitcher Supplier. I will... Grave Crawler's 2-1, you said? Yep, one's a 1-1, one, one, and the other's a 2-1. I just block it with a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4. Four, four. Alright. So they will die. I will draw 2 and lose 2. Off the Undead Augur. Oh. Sorry, and so then... that's 2 Gain for me with the Undead Warchief and the Nightscape Familiar. 
And then you're so, going to drain for two yeah. with thing. So that's yeah. going to even it. Yeah. yeah, so, so I'm, each of you will take two, uh, and then I will mill three from Citrus Supplier. That'll be a Buried Ruin, Takanuma, and Stronghold Assassin. Yeah, the, if, if we can stop blocking that fucking <laughs> thing, that would be three. It's um, like one then... point of damage or give Kowalski three cards. Uh, I'll take one point of damage, thanks. <laughs> Uh, I'll recast Grave Crawler to get a soul uh, soul trigger off that. Oh yeah, I'll gain a life. And I will pee the tea, pass the turn. Alright, I will untap. Um, there oh, shouldn't be on. any background noise now, so I changed how <laughs> the thing works. Thank you for the love of God, do not call it pee the tea. <laughs> I was hoping that would get that reaction. I will pay... <laughs> I will pay that, and I will most definitely Grim Tutor. So I will pay three, lose three life. And I'm going to go ahead and... I hope I have it in here. Kowalski, I don't know if you've, if you've played with Cody. Uh, he's uh, one of our live group guys. He's, he's there on, on the Wednesdays when we play. Yeah, um, yeah he's a sweet dude, but he has this thing that he does whenever he passes his turn. He says, pasta del turno. Like, it's a dish. <laughs> pasta del turno. I've and never heard that I one. Hate it. I hate it with the fire of a thousand suns. <laughs> and it, it, just, it makes him smile so much how much I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it just does it more. <laughs> he just does it more. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I don't have it in this deck. But it's okay, I'll get something that's similar. Wait, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was supposed to discard. My bad. I will discard an Asrak. Oh, as if that's a fucking downside. <laughs> Pretty much why I was checking. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't have it in this deck, but it's okay. I'll get the next best thing. I'll unfortunately have to wait. Oh, shit. Sorry, you passed Kowalski, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I meant to boink, boink, and then make a soldier. Apologize. Doink. Because that's the whole quest for renewal thing. Um... And then I get to blow something up. The only other one is that graveyard thing. Well, and then there's the plus one, plus one. Uh, let's just pretend I didn't. Let's just skip it. Because those yes. are fine. I don't but even want to. I don't even want to cast anything. Um, <laughs> it just kind of shuts off the your enchantment deck. <laughs> yeah, that's why it needs to go. Um, <laughs> You're in the right colors to get rid of it. Oh, I am. Oh, and sorry. Uh, then there's also the Court Street Denizen. Uh, so I'm going to tap the Plague Belcher. Three mana. I'll play... I don't expect this to last very long, but I will play the Enchantress's Presence. Drain everyone for one. Just because I need to get my hand size to seven. Um, How many cards are you going to I have a group of seven. Yeah, okay. So you don't really need the Enchantress's presence. No, I had eight before. Yeah. Ah, uh, now you just have seven. Yeah. <laughs> um. I 
I will swing the five five and the three. The five five can go at the at a uh, Kowalski. What's your biggest creature? Uh, Ace and Garof. The rest are. Oh wait, actually, they get buffed. So my undead auger is a four three. This is a three two, and uh, the grave crawler can't block. How big is Gisa? Four four. Okay. Um, I'll swing at you with a five five, and I'll swing at Eric with Kami and Tatsunari. So seven. Okay, uh, I'll block. The generous visitor is a 5-5. Five five. Oh, you had to tap my plague vulture. <laughs> uh, before we move to blocks, I can tap things. Just keep that in mind. Um, I'm thinking. So, before we move to blocks, I'm going to make a disposable soldier. Uh, so I'll tap the Amara with the Cerulean Caretaker. Uh, I'll make a soldier. I'll blow up the buff on your commander. Enjoy those aura shards while it's still there. I'm I'm doing that. I'm definitely <laughs> doing that. <laughs> oh, um, man. So I gain a life. And I tap a creature. Oh, wait. This doesn't even get rid of the... So, Kowalski, let's tap your Nightscape... Uh, I tutored no, the wrong card. Let's tap your Undead Augur. Yep. I, I done screwed up. And then when... When Kami enters the battlefield, I'm gonna gain a life with the Soul Warden. Well. Kami never. Kami's been here. Kami didn't die yet. Um, oh, there. Okay. Yeah, been there since the start. Well, you have six coming at you now. Then. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll block both of them with my. So sorry, we're moving to blocks now. We're good. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna um, block with the Nightscape familiar. I will draw on this one life. I'll block with two soldiers and I'll move two life. That's a pass from me after. Yeah. Tap. Uh. Mm. Oh, I hate to do this. I'm going to tap four to Supreme Verdict. Oh, can't be countered. Oof. Okay. Um, oh, I don't have priority. Eric, you want to do all your tap stuff? Uh, yeah, it's destroy all creatures, right? Yeah. Oh, you can just do the, the uh, indestructible yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Um... So let's do Amara, tap with the Cerula Caretaker, make a soldier, gain a life, blow up the um, Enchantress's presence, I guess. Yep. And then I'll pop the Delphless Spirit so creatures are indestructible. My creatures are indestructible this turn. Yeah. Um, and then for my response, uh, I'll tap lose a life for black. I will cast a plum the forbidden. 
So in addition to cast it, I can sacrifice any number of creatures. It'll copy it each time, so I'll end up drawing a card losing life for each copy. So I'll just sack the Gravecrawler, Undead Warchief, Leg Belcher, and Gisa and Geralt. Undead Augur also sees and, all of them. And Undead Augur, I might as well. It's one, two, three, four, five. So it'll copy itself five times. And Undead Augur will also see everything. It's only zombies, so Kisa won't count for Undead Augur. So I'll draw four, lose four off of Undead Augur. Uh, we'll all lose four life for the Plague Belcher, right? Um, just three, because it doesn't see itself, I don't think. Yeah, only another zombie, so. Okay. Three. Four. These will go to the bin, and then this copied itself five times, so I'll lose another six life and draw six cards. Four. Three. That's a lot of cards. <laughs> then I will tap three for Glint Horn Buccaneer. And Kowalski uh, will swing in for two. Yep. And I'll tap one for the top. Pass. Alright, draw. I'll play Forest. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's go with four mana for an anointed procession. I'll pay. I'm not going to pay anything. What I'm going to do is I'll swing. Kill me. I'm already dead, honestly. <laughs> um, Kowalski's at 21. Uh, you have no blockers, right, Ernest? And you're at 26. I'm also at 26. 26. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to send two soldiers at Ernest and the soldier and a soul warden at Josh. You don't get to see a soul warden attack every day. <laughs> nope. Um. And then I'll send the Court Street Denizen at Kowalski for two. Uh, so it's two, two, and two. Sorry, the uh, soldiers are... How much am I taking? Uh, two. Everybody's taking two. Uh, and Court Street... Sorry, uh, the soldiers are gaining me three life with their lifelink ability. Um, and then the Legion's Landing flips because I attacked with three or more creatures. Uh, and then I'll tap the Cerulean Caretaker to tap Amara to make a mana, which will make me two soldiers. Uh, and in terms of... Artifacts and enchantments. I think it's just the ground seal. Oh, no, there's the top twice. So I'll, I'll target the top twice. I'll draw. Uh, 
Um, and then I'll use the mana that I have <clears throat> from the Amara making the mana to attach the Skull Clan. Oh, sorry. And I gain two life off the Soul Warden as well. Um, and then I'll use the mana that I have off the Amara from doing that to attach the Skull Clamp to um, one of these soldiers. And then I'll draw two. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay. Um, two, three, four, eight. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I'm just going to pay four, and I'll cast Quatly Radiant Champion. Um, so she comes in at three loyalty, and then I'll tick her up to four to activate. Uh, so put a loyalty counter on her for each creature I control, which is eight. Pretty good. Uh, so she's at 12 loyalty when that resolves. Um, and then I will pass. Uh, on that. I'll untap all my creatures with you. Did I play a line? No, not yet. Uh, I'll play a Dark Water Catacombs. Um, a lot of cards, but didn't draw it to cast a carry and feeder. Gonna move to man step. I discard a lot of cards. Gain a life off the carrion feeder. Oh. Um, if you're moving to your end step, I'm gonna activate Amara with the thing. Make two more soldiers. Uh, I don't believe there's anything left for me to blow up with the ore shards. Uh, but I do have uh, two life gain from the soul warden. And I also get to tap up to two creatures. So carrion feeder will be the thing that I target. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm discarding an Herborg, Shipwreck Marsh, Selhoff and Tumor, Repository Scab, Alter Dimension, Will Held, Murderous Rider, Soul Ring, and Balthor the Defiled. Yeah, that's that's a lot of high value stuff. <laughs> all right, so I'll return. And I can do his ability at any time, right? Or is it sorcery speed? Uh, Does it say sorcery no. speed? It doesn't, but it's a really old card, so I'm not sure. If... Oh, let me check. Even even the old cards used to say sorcery speed. So okay. yeah, I don't have nothing to pull me back into this game, guys. 
hate to do this, but I'm I'm gonna have to call it for myself. All good. Yeah, you you can do it any time. Uh, uh, good to know. He, he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be on the battlefield though. Oh, from the game. Yeah, my bad. If you if you're exiling, if you're not exiling from the graveyard, yeah. you're exiling. I read. That means he, yeah. <laughs> I misread it. Yeah, he, he does have to be. Yeah, I don't have nothing that'll get me back in this game. Oops. <laughs> Should have cast him. Oh, well. so, GGs, and I actually do want to see who wins this one. So I'm mute. Well, I'm. <laughs> I would love to respond to you scooping by. <laughs> Tapping Amara for some tokens, but oh, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll respect. Yeah. I'll respect the bow out, and I'll I'll skip around. Um, actually, let's just because I had the manual for it. You can do it. You can do it in response to me casting something, right? I can, but I had don't the four worry. mana. I'll cast the idol on a blossoms, and then scoop after you're done. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I am a really good sport. Do I really do I really need the help? Uh okay, so I'll make two more soldiers, I'll gain two more life, I'll go to sixty one. And then I'll untap on Ernest's turn. Okay. Uh I'll tap one for blasphemous act. Yeah, that's a thing. Um I like that. That's okay though. That that doesn't bother me at all. Um yeah, sure. That's good. It's good for me. Okay. I'll tap seven for approach of the second sun. Oh, I have a response to that one. Oh, no! <laughs> I will take a damage. I will muddle the mixture. Oh. And counter it. Little that makes sure I've never heard that. Oh, dude, dude! If you don't, if you don't use fucking transmute, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's what, a what blue doing? blue counter instant sorcery, but you can like tutor if you discard it for two something CMC two. All right, I pass. Yeah, if if you're not using transmute, honey, like I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Uh, I will draw. Oh, shoot, my bad. That's not my turn. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, okay. So let's do the thing that needs to happen. Uh, minus eight, Watley. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Yeah, I can't respond to that anyway. I mean, you can. You can respond by, like, dealing oh. damage to Watley if you want, but, like, the ability's on the stack. Yeah, it'll still happen anyway. Um, okay. So let's go one, two, three. What does the emblem four. do? Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I may draw a card. Okay. So that's gonna that's gonna get me through my deck real fast. Real, 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 real fast. <clears throat> okay, so I can do. Three for that, that for that. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I'll pay four mana and I'll cast a Marble Titan. Uh, so creatures with power three or greater don't untap during their controller's untap steps. Um, and then I'll draw a card. And then I'll pay three and activate Adanto the first fort and make two vampires and draw two cards. Uh, 
and then I'll play a Plains. And I'll pay one for an Altar of the Brood. And then I'll tick up Huatli to put a loyalty counter on Huatli for each creature I control, which is three. Didn't you do the emblem? Oh, sorry, I did that this turn. You're right. I'm a dummy. Whoops. I'm like, why is Huatli so low? She should have a ton of loyalty, duh. Uh, yeah, no, because I just did the thing. Yep, no, I'm a dummy. You're completely correct. Um, now that's three creatures. I don't think I have any artifacts or enchantments that I can blow up with any of that. Um, so from there, I believe I'm just going to pass. All right, on your end step, I'm going to overload a Cyclonic Rift. Wow. Thanks. You guys are fighting back hard here. <laughs> uh, and I'll go to my turn. You're off your turn. Okay, land for turn, Phyrexian Tower. And let's see how much Crypt taps for, because it's a lot. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's only black creatures, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, so Crypt currently taps for 16 black mana. Okay, so I will tap the crypt for 16. Uh, Gisa costs 6, so I'll use a blue and 5 of this black to recast Gisa. Middle 4. Buried Alive, Micaeus, Crypt Breaker, and Necro Duality. I will then use four of that to cast the Althor from the graveyard. I'm going to go ahead and use his ability right away. Okay. Yeah. So remove him, all black and red creatures from all graveyards come back to the battlefield. So, Gary's not in here, luckily for you guys, but there's some good stuff. So the Crypt Breaker, Micaeus, Marion Feeder, Murderous Rider, Will Hilt. Is that all black and red across all graveyards? Yeah. Or just... yeah, all graveyards. So if you have any black or red, I think those also come back. Yeah, each player. Well, K K and T doesn't use black, right? But there is red. It's the humble boy. Oh, yeah. humble boy. <laughs> He's right back. there. <laughs> okay. My God. Do any of those have haste? None of them have haste, but there are number of ETPs. Not, not as many as there usually is. The Plague Butcher will have an ETP. Um, Stitcher Supplier will have an ETP. Acerac will have an ETP. And nothing else will have an ETP. So I'll have Acerac enter. I will venture into the dungeon. I'm going to go into... The Lost Mine of Pandover, so I'll scry one, and he will bounce back to my hand. Uh, I will put that on the bottom. Uh, Stitcher Supplier enters a mill three, so mill swamp, rooftop storm, and an island. Just, uh, just as a general uh, kind of idea, Kowalski, because like, I can't see your library. 
Are you like roughly around half a third? I'm a, basically just a half. <laughs> my library is in my graveyard. Okay. Um, Plague Vulture, I'm going to have it hit the Stitcher Supplier. So I'll draw a card, lose a life off of the Undead Augur. And then mill three. I'll hit a, there we go. There's Gary. Just the Forgotten Gods and Overcharged Amalgam. Um, Stitcher Supplier will come back because of Micaeus. The plus one. I'll mill three again. Flesh Bag, River of Tears, and Gyre Reach. Cast my zombie from here for turn. I mean, what I need in there is in there now, so I guess I'll just <laughs> move to my end step. Uh, oh, wait, Plague Belcher would have triggered uh, once? Yeah, just once. And move to my end step, I will trigger Will Held, so I'll sacrifice the Stitcher Supplier to create a zombie with the Cade. Draw a card from Will Helt, and then draw a card, lose a life from Undead Augur. And then <laughs> mill three from Citrus Supplier. Arch School, Graveboard Muse, and Feed the Swarm. Now I am well above half. <laughs> and through all of that, we lost a total of one life. <laughs> yes. Okay. Usually Gary does that, but yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> I'll pass after that. Well, my turn. So, uh, Ernest, it looks like I'm not the problem anymore. <laughs> right. Um, I will humble defect over to you, Eric. <laughs> hey, I get to use my humble boy token again. Sweet. <laughs> Don't you remember what happened the last time? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just picturing you as the, the Godfather meme. Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Kowalski, do you have any board wipes in the library? There is a... The only two wipes are the Rift and there is a Living Death, which is still in my deck. Wait, why are you asking Kowalski if he has board wipes? He doesn't want to wipe the board. I, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm just look, looking at options. I mean, yeah. the case is going to bring back all this stuff anyway. But... You don't have... No, you won't have that. Damn. So, Eric, I have bribery in my hand. So I can get any creature card in your or Kowalski's deck. Do you have anything that we could use as an answer? Well, I mean, I don't think I do. Um, but if if you can if you can get rid of the Micaeus, that's going to be very helpful. Okay, I will tap three. For Council's judgment, select a Micaeus. Um, in response, before anyone like chooses anything. Oh, darn. Actually, okay. hold on. Yeah, I have to do that now, I guess. Uh, I'll tap Command Tower for a black, and I'll cast Malakir Rebirth, targeting Micaeus. I'll respond to that. I'll tap. Two for a chain denial. 
I love it. This is where it's at. <laughs> Right. Uh, so, there, uh, so we all vote yes or no on whether Micaeus should die, right? If me and you are aligned, then it won't matter what else he's... Yeah, that's voted. that's my point. Yeah, so I'm agreeing with you that Micaeus needs to go. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what I choose, right? Because it's just... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I want to do anything... Before Micaeus dies, though. I guess I can't, right? Because I would have had to do that in response to Will of the Council. Well, once we're voting, then it's too late. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a friendly game. It's okay if you want to back it up a little bit and take care of your shit. To be honest, I don't really... <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> There's nothing really... I don't want to keep losing right. life by drawing cards. Uh, but I will lose one from the chaos and draw a card. Uh, I'll tap two for Queen, and I'll put a top out. Pass. Um, how many spells is that? Through four total. Four. Sweet. Like that's dangerously low. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna ca on your end stuff. I'm gonna cast brain freeze, targeting myself. So I'll mill fifteen cards. Dude, you saw me reveal the altar of the brood. You really want to go this route? Okay. <laughs> like you know, my plan is to mill you out. I'll be honest. I forgot you had that, but I still want to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, five, six, seven. I'll, I'll crack evolving wise. Miles, while you're doing that. 11, 12, What's going on, gents? 15, hey, Chris. What's happening, dude? Not much. How's this game we're going? Very, very near, we're very near the end. Whoa. And it's been, it, it's been a very good game. Seems like, uh, seems like you guys got kind of a game going on. Yeah, we, we definitely do. Okay. Um, let's go swampy swamp. I'll be here. I'm just going to be observing while I eat. You know. okay. Okay, for sure. Let's play a game after this. I'd be happy to. Sounds good. First thing, uh, I'm going to sack Undead Augur. New Crypt, uh, Carrion Feeder, Draw Card, Lose a Life. And then I will. Sack. Um, it's tapped out, so it doesn't really matter. I'll sack all my black, uh, pretty much all my creatures. Other than Will Helt. So, let me one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Uh, that's going to create a treasure once that's gone. Eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to sack ten of my zombies to Karen Feeder. I will trigger Plague Vulture ten times. So you yep. both will lose ten. And I'll create, um, I think it's that. Yeah, so I'll create ten decayed zombies. Yep. I go um, down to. 50. Yep. And then I'm going to sack the decayed zombies to carry and feeder. You'll both lose another 10. Uh, sack yeah. will help to carry and feeder. There's another one. Sack. Um, so that's 40, 39. Yeah. Sack plague belcher to carry and feeder. Each lose one. Oh, sorry, you don't. You don't, um, not, you don't lose no. one. Yeah, you don't lose one. Uh, yeah, and then I will see how much mana this crypt's making first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, make a treasure from Shambling Guest. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, no, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I'll just say 20 because I don't think I'm going to need more than that. Tap crypt for 20 block. I will use two of that. Sorry, th yeah, three of that and then a blue. I'm going to bring, oh, wow, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, get a repository scab back, exploiting carrion feeder. So I can return instant or sorcery card from my graveyard to my hand. I'm going to return a living death to my hand. Ay, ay, ay. Five black cast living death. And then here's Micaeus again, and we have to deal with this shit all over again. Yeah, except this time Gary is in my graveyard, so it's going to drain for a lot. So Gisa will go back end zone. Repository scrap will be sacked, and then all creatures come back. So boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Do, do. All right. At least Soul Warden's triggering a bunch of times, too. Warden's out. Oh, yeah. It will, um, it will from the living death. Yeah, it, it will make a difference. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so there's going to be at least four life... Um, humble defector dies again without me activating it. <laughs> so, what's the total number of creatures you have coming back? Out to find out. Like 400. Four, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two hundred, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, three, twenty-eight. Okay. So, um, so Ernest, how many do you have coming back? Sorry, uh, three. I just went to start the dishwasher. Or two, sorry. No uh, okay. So then there's three. Yeah, one, two, from there, leaves that at one, leaves that at five, that leaves that at five, that away. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 60, uh, 74. So if you can deal me 74. Pretty sure I can. Okay, so... And you're um, in a good place. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, have sorry. Minus two for that. I don't I don't have any creatures in the graveyard. Oh, okay. Uh so you can deal with 72. 72 is gonna be lethal. Okay, so cemetery desecrator comes. I'm gonna exile Diabolic Intent and give Soul Warden or the Soul thing minus two, minus two. Okay. Um, that's the only thing that's gaining you life, right? For creatures? Yeah, but all the creatures entered the battlefield at the same time. Yeah, 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 I know. So I just for... Yeah, just for further things. Um, Plague yeah. Belcher comes in. I'm just going to put it on one of the other things on my board that won't die. Uh, Stitcher Supplier comes in, so I'll mill them at three. And just, just remember that with all of the ETBs, because you're the active player... All of my life gain will resolve first. Yeah, yeah, I know. So you, you'll be at how... Oh, yeah, I'll just want to do this first. We'll second. be in the life before all of your triggers resolve, just so that we're clear. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, flesh bag. So we each sack a creature. I'll sack the Selhoff and Tumor. I will. I guess Plague Vulture is not actually on the field yet, right? So it won't drain yet. It's on the battlefield. Yeah, it is enters. It? Okay, so yeah. it drains yeah. both of you for. Oh, actually. Okay, drains both of you for one, and then I'll have Diagraph. Uh, the creature comes back because it has Undying. Oh, right, yep. Um, okay, so Diagraph will hit Eric, so Eric will take two, Ernest will take one. Uh, I'm dead. I'm going to fold from here. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then... just, just keep track of how much you're dealing me. If you can deal me 72, then I die. Yeah, so that was that. Well, so technically, you, technically, you that technically he doesn't need to deal 72. But I'll let, him, I'll let him figure that out. I'm pretty sure. Well, okay, anyway. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 30. So that's 38 from Grey Merchant from the first one. <laughs> but you at one. <laughs> That's funny. That's so good. Well, plus this. Well, possibly, yeah. but yes. Yeah, so you'll gain the life, but I'm going to do 38 off the first ETB from Green Merchant. Okay. Uh, and then... So then once everything enters, I'm going to sack Grey Merchant to Carrion Feeder. So it'll come back with a plus one from Undying from Micaiah. So that'll be another 38. You could have done that before his life came result, by the way. That's why I said he, uh, um, you don't have to do all the damage. But you, you wouldn't have been able to kill him quite yet anyways. Uh, yeah. And then even then, I can still yeah. sack it again and then recast Gisa, cast it from the graveyard. Right. Oh, for, fair enough. Do another 38 times 2. Yep. Yeah, Jason Groff is my favorite zombie commander. People have, like, a book. Like, there's a lot of um, really good ones. Like, Ravina is also really good. But, um, but uh, Jason Groff is my favorite zombie tribal commander. Yeah, just you 